Hello. Today we're going to go over the ability to have Enterprise Alert take a more proactive approach inside of your infrastructure workflow. So we have lots of customers that use tools such as SCOM and NNMI and Dynatrace and other ITOM monitoring tools. What we've noticed is there are events coming in from these monitoring tools for various hardware service needs. And then users have to go in and manually create a ticket inside of their ticketing service. And then that ticket flows back into Enterprise Alert and goes to the appropriate team. However, there is a way to insert Enterprise Alert inside of that manual creation step. So Enterprise Alert will send the information to the ticketing software and it will automatically create that ticket, send it back to Enterprise Alert and notify the appropriate team. So in order to do that, we have to create a new remote action. This is what's going to actually send the information over to your ticketing software. For our purposes, we're going to use ServiceNow. So let's go ahead and click on the Remote Actions menu option, and then click on the Remote Actions button. Inside of here, we're going to want to click on the Create New option at the bottom. And I'm just going to go ahead and open up the one we already have created on our end. So we're going to go ahead and give this a name, and you can name this whatever best fits your naming profiles for your system. Um, we're going to change the execute in to be service now. And we want to make sure we uncheck the remote action pin required. So this can be run automatically without a pin number. And go ahead and if you want to check the show on app dashboard so that if at any point in time you want to run this manually through the mobile app, you can go ahead and do that. I would say I would recommend giving it a tag so that it's easier to, for you to find and give it a brief description so that it matches whatever you need on your side. Once that's done, go ahead and click on the next button and that'll take us to the action. On this screen here, under the actions to execute, go ahead and click on that drop down, choose the service now option, and then underneath there you'll see a create incident option. Go ahead and click on that option. Once you choose to create incident, you'll see all these new items pop up down below the screen. Go ahead and leave these as default. We don't actually have to change these. However, you can if you would like to. Um, go ahead and save that. And now we need to either create a new or update an existing policy to actually launch this remote action when the SCOM or ITOM monitoring event comes into Enterprise Alert to kick off this remote action. So now we're going to go back into alert policies and we're going to either create a new or update an existing. Um, I recommend you create a new because this is going to be a, a whole new workflow. So this one is just an alert saying we created the ServiceNow ticket. So go ahead and create your new or update an existing. See here we already have one and all we care about here is that it's a new event. Um, that's the only profile we really need for our cases. You guys might want to narrow it down and add more conditions in here. That's up to you. Um, however, for the alerting, if you set this to be a event parameter and set it to the assignment group, this is going to go to whoever the assignment group is set to in the incoming event from the system. So only the group that's actually going to be getting the ServiceNow ticket gets warned that there's about to be a ServiceNow ticket created. So you're not sending out an alert to everybody in the system that is not going to later receive the event. So then they're not questioning. I got one saying it ticket was created why did I not see the ticket from here and here's the big key for this one we want to go to the actions tab and inside of here we want to add an action and we're going to add the create service now incident action which should be what we named our remote action so inside of here you're going to see the remote actions that you've added and in our case, it's going to be called Create Service Now Incident. So we select that option. We want to make sure we check on the auto run because we're not going to manually be clicking on this most of the time. The system's going to automatically run for us. So we want to make sure that that is checked. Once that's done, click on the Edit Mapping button. And here's where you want to select the parameters that are going to come from your SCOM event before it is on to Service Now. And then your service now is going to send back around and create the ticket from these from these parameters and then send this back to Enterprise Alert to go out to your correct team. So you'll see here what we've included is our short description, description, impact, urgency, assignment group. And this is important for the automatically assigning to a group options. And then we sent the caller so we get the user's name inside the ticket also. Make sure that those are checked and anything else you want to include to be able to send from your ITOM monitoring to ServiceNow and then back to Enterprise Alert to your team, make sure that these are checked inside of this option here. Once all that's done, go ahead and click on OK. Now once all this is created, 
we're ready to go ahead and start getting events in from our monitoring service and then Enterprise Alert can now take these events, forward them over to ServiceNow and then create a ticket inside of ServiceNow which then sends in another event to Enterprise Alert and notifies the team of the open ticket. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and launch an event that's going to fake coming from a monitoring system. And then here we see the new event inside of your Enterprise Alert and this one saying, hey, we got an event and we're going to be sending this on and creating a ServiceNow ticket. So we can go ahead and close out of that. And then now you'll see that we already have a second incoming event. They kicked off another alerting policy and this is the actual ServiceNow ticket. So we'll see that we have a ServiceNow ticket of 10154 and we have the description of broken laptop and the caller's name and it was assigned to our applications team because that's who was set to in the assign now group and if i go into my service now incidents and go ahead and refresh this list we'll now see this 10154 and we'll see the assignment group was set to application team because that's what came in through my event and it was automatically sent to the applications team inside of Enterprise Alert by using that parameter and now the team has the incident and they can start working through it and get this all fixed up and corrected without anybody having to manually go into the ticketing software to create this ticket. This is just a way to reduce time and cut out a, a manual step in the process and help automate it to reduce the amount of time it takes to get everything corrected and back up and working for your users. We hope that this video helps showcase how Enterprise Alert can create tickets inside of ServiceNow as a complement to your business requirements of having major incidents raised and tracked through ServiceNow without having to manually create these tickets. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.